This is definitely golfing weather. If you love golf yes. and helping others, Mentoring Plus is hosting a special event that you'll want to take part in this week. Yeah, Mentoring Plus serves the most disadvantaged teens in Northern Kentucky. And joining us this morning is William Cole and also Judge Mickey Folger. They're joining us to talk about Mentoring Plus, the golf outing. Guys, thanks so much for being here this morning. You're welcome. Um, I guess the first question for folks who might be unfamiliar is what is Mentoring Plus? Yeah. Mentoring Plus, as you mentioned, we, we service the most needy teens in Northern Kentucky. We are a nonprofit that was established about 12 years ago um, by somebody who had retired from, uh, as a retired teacher, and someone who had retired from the Department of Juvenile Justice. And they knew that there was a need out there for 13 to 18 year old kids who don't get a lot of the public services that younger kids get or some adults might get. That 13 to 18 group just kind of misses out on a lot of the services and they're not cute and cuddly anymore. They're right. teenagers, right? Mm -hmm. So, so um, we started a program where they get one-on-one -on -one mentorship. We've got a structured program where they get life lessons and um, we really delve into everything that not, not just for that one, uh, that one pupil, but uh, to kind of prop up everything in their life from school to home life to court systems, things like that. Because that age group can be kind of hard to reach, right? Hard to reach, yeah. and, and, and when, you, when you do get to uh, have the opportunity with them, they've got really high barriers up, too. They, right. they don't, they don't want to let you in, because mm -hmm. they've been through a lot of trauma. When I say the most needy, we really mean that. They've been abused and neglected. They've faced some really, really difficult challenges. And so uh, trying to break through that wall, um, you know, I, I was a life coach myself for a few years mm. and it took about three or four months before uh, the kid broke down his walls and mm -hmm. um, one day he did and, uh, you know, he just unloaded everything for about 15 minutes. There were lots of tears, but once you get in there, you know, they have just as big of an impact on, on you as, as you might have. Yeah, on what them. kind of feeling was that for you to, oh, to have it that was, happen? <laughs> it was, it, it was, it was emotional for me too because, you know, you spend three months trying to get to know this kid and he doesn't want to tell you anything about himself and then there's something about, we, we drive the kid home at the end of the program and there's yeah. something about you know being side by side and you've got this enclosed space yeah. and you got 15 minutes and you don't have to make eye contact and they just open the gates and and you know it was it was very fulfilling for me to be able to get to know him and we, then I was a life coach with him for three years and now I'm on wow. the chairman of the board and you know I've just it, it's become something that's so passionate for me I, yeah. I've had to really stick with it for a long time and just try and help the program to grow more. That's yeah. cool. And Judge Folgers I mean talk about like the importance of you know these kids, these teens, having someone to look up to. Yeah. Well, it's obviously it's very important and that's what they're missing. Uh, I got involved, of course, as a judge because I saw so many kids in court and I removed so many children from their parents for one issue, another, neglect or abuse. And as Billy said, many have been severely traumatized. And in my case, I'd be removing them and then sending them somewhere, which mm -hmm. was a very difficult part of the job because those resources became more and more limited. Where are we going to send this kid? Mm -hmm. You know, if we did find a good spot, like the Department of Juvenile Justice, if they were committing misdemeanors or minor crimes, uh, that's where Kevin got involved. He had some of the serious offenders in, in uh, detention centers. And so he was working with very seriously offend, affected children, teenagers. And after he retired, he knew he couldn't just quit. Uh, mm -hmm. From him, it was a religious experience. He said the Lord told him to keep doing mm -hmm. this on into his retirement. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he grabbed me when I retired, literally. <laughs> the day after I retired, he, I, I tell people he was waiting outside the garage door. Like, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You're not done. Tell us about this golf outing because we're running yeah. out of time. I want to hear mm -hmm. about the golf outing. Well, we play golf every year as a fundraiser. We have a, a major fundraiser. It's called the Seeds of Hope Award. We give somebody uh, that, that award. But the Seeds of Hope is kind of the definition of what we're trying to do is plant yeah. seeds of hope in these children who come in fairly hopeless. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have that look in their eye of hope. So the Seeds of Hope Award, the golf outing, is at A.J. Jolly. It's a beautiful course, rated one of the top in Kentucky, in Campbell County, of course, where we're housed in Newport, but it's out in Alexandria. And uh, we usually have over 100 golfers on a beautiful day. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, raise some money and have a good day. Have a good, fun day. Well, if people want to learn more about the fundraiser and Mentoring Plus, yeah. where can they go to do that? You can go to mentoringplus.org backslash events. And I think we've got a QR code up oh, on the screen right go. now. So, so you can actually, if you want, you know, scan, scan, the, scan the code right now. You can register or at least get some more information about the event. What uh, a great cause. I oh, love it. Yeah, and it's going to be great weather for it, too. I know, right. I know. We, we've <laughs> lucked out with that. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for being here with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it.